Hey, Allison. Hey, Ashley. Steve. Good morning. And welcome back to TikTok. Here we are back in the digital realms. Allison, thank you for the flower. I live here. Good morning. We are in a new zone. We are in a new zone. Okay, so for most of human history, they talked about whether you're sleeping, you're dreaming, you're awake. Sometimes people be awake and they be wondering if they're dreaming. Sometimes you're dreaming and you're wondering if you're awake. All along, we're asking ourselves, what is real? Is this real? So do you ever question what's real? And do you ever question how much of your experience is what's real? And what would that even mean? How would you know? Some of us may believe, uh, you may believe that if you're experiencing it, that's real enough. That's all you need and that's what reality is. And we could also try to point to some objective absolute reality, some kind of thing that we can point at and say that is the truth or not. Well, now we have a new zone. Within this thing, this virtual reality thing, this is just a primordial, primitive, prehistoric version of what's coming. This is the strongest recommendation and prediction engine I've ever used, and it is also the most immersive social media platform I've ever used. Um, never mind. Never mind. I'm just going to hang out. Let's not see. You don't have to save the world all the time. It's okay. Let's just... Sometimes I come here and I think I want to teach stuff or give a life-changing speech, but I'll save that for later. I'll save that for later. Right now, we got to remember that we're on TikTok. So, let's get some coffee and mix it with ice cream. We'll, we'll save life-changing speeches for later, if I remember it. I mean, that was pretty fire. I don't know if I'm even going to remember what I was trying to say. Um... Okay, so now we have a spoon. This spoon will be used for this thing. Hello, Aramaro. Good morning. Grain rising. Hello, cornbread. Good morning. Grain rising. Welcome back to this thing. So, as usual, I kind of got into it as soon as I opened it up. Um, but we'll save that for later. I have a brand new fresh coffee. Sister Night Shifter, hello. I have a brand new fresh coffee. And we're going to put some hot stuff in it. No, we got ice cream. We're going to put some hot coffee in it. Root Beer Float is a comment asking... We have something even better. This is coffee. We're going to put coffee into the ice cream, John. What do you think of that? So, LA3, welcome. Aramaro, you are correct. We're going to put some hotness into this uh, milky, fructose, lactose, sugary, vanilla... I don't know if the vanilla flavoring is legit or not. Let's find out. Is the vanilla flavoring artificial? Ground vanilla beans. It's real vanilla. That is so good to know. We ain't using none of that synthetic... vanilla... stuff. Good. Roll Magnolia, I'm proud to announce that we have real vanilla in this ice cream. Greetings, Nate. Hello. That is correct. You are so smart. Oh my god. I should make I should use uh, pig intestines to drink things out of.
Alright, anybody else want to be a genius and point out that I'm using a plastic cup? It's just a nice shifter. So am I dreaming or what? I like the sound of that subject. I don't know. I was I was into that when I first opened this up. And then um Ninja Kitty, thank you for confirming your membership in the wildest, craziest, funniest, hottest, silliest chat room on TikTok. Roll Magnolia, I want to promote the use of, uh, <coughs> when possible, <coughs> getting away from the, uh, There's no getting away from. Going towards the real vanilla. I would like some chocolate, but maybe next time. Wow, we already got two donors on the board. I feel like I just got here. You're great. Thank you, Royal Magnolia and Aromero. Um, you are the mayor and vice mayor of this town. Katasha, in regards to your comment, yes, you are correct. Free will is being taken away. Automatic living and um, automatic living. This one guy thought he was smart. He tried to say, well, I made an egg sandwich this morning. Isn't that free will? I don't know. If this guy was making a uh, fucking like peanut butter for, I don't know. If this guy was not having breakfast for years and one day he decided to break the loop. And do ham and cheese. Yeah, I would call that free will. But you know what? I think this guy eats ham and cheese every morning. He doesn't even realize it. He does it automatically. Goes through the motions. He's running a script. He's been programmed to do that. He might have programmed himself, but it might have been something that he saw on TV. We got a lot of geniuses here on TikTok, and they can't wait to tell you. Uh, Cornbread, thank you for the fire. Hell yeah. Maybe we could go outside and get some... John... Thank you. Hello, John. Good to see you again. Hope, thank you for the likes. Obsoleteist. Good morning. Jonah, good morning. Dead fish. Dead fish. Good to see you. So here we have an ice cream with coffee in it. Let's put a little bit more coffee in it. Oh, it's good to be here, too. This is where I live. I don't know how long I'll be here today, but... Back in my day, we refused plastic cups, and it was the norm. The refusal was the norm, or the, uh... Oh, reused. Nate says, back in my day, we reused plastic cups, and it was the norm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, all these plastic cups, um, I've been, like, washing as if they are, uh, glass... Bite my elbow. Do you know what selective demand avoidance is? And how are you a level 16 donor with zero followers? All right, that person was one, was following only one person, and they were a level 16 donor, which implies that they are like secretly hooking people up, like, and they're doing it from memory. Or they're just letting FYP guide them. They're not following anybody. So who are they giving money to? So much money that they got all the way to level 16. That's a few hundred dollars, everybody. That person spent a few hundred dollars donating to people without following anybody. So they probably have memorized who they're looking for. And they probably use the search function often. I don't know. But they blocked. Goodbye. Sir Budrick. Yeah. I don't want any silent investors. I'm very into social credit. And I'm very conscious of social credit. And I'm also trying to find people to collaborate with. So I want to be financially invested with people who want to be looked at. I had a talk with one of my former top donors about this. And uh, I politely asked the guy to uh, start making content or go away. And he did. He went away. I would have preferred he made content, though. Katasha, thank you for the confetti. It's good to see you too. Welcome to Tuesday. 
Ooh, beer bread. Ninja Kitty made beer bread. Sir Budrick, thank you for the fire. Hey, I want to announce to everybody um, that the uh, stock market went down quite a bit today. So, let's give a round of applause because some rich-ass people lost a lot of money. And you probably didn't. You're probably still where you were yesterday. So, you're, you're relatively speaking, you're winning a little bit. Um, Sand Shifter, thank you for the heart, me. Aramero, thank you for the claps. Sand Shifter, thank you for the fire. Katasha, thank you for the fire. Ninja Kitty, thank you for the fire. All right, all right. I guess we'll go burn some shit. I guess we could do that. Oh, thank you for the likes. Sand Shifter, today is Tuesday, and it looks like things are going all right. Um, I still have to read the room a little bit. I still got to uh, hear a little more about how everybody else is feeling. I'm doing great, but, um, you know, I'm not the only one here. Jay, welcome back. Okay, let's set up a new goal. Let's see how that goes. Oh, yeah, no, we're on a goal. I can't go outside just yet. Katasha got a job as a bartender. Yeah. Good. You're, you're about to hear some stories. Sir Budrick did their due diligence and bought something that is uh, resistant to the flow of the herd. Because whatever Sir Budrick is into went up 8% today, while a lot of other things went down. So, that is good. Dun -dun. Oh. Yeah, okay, so being a bartender is going to be nice until one day you get some mysterious figure who may or may not be a federal agent who's just going to sit there and he's going to be like, So, you like Deftones? You like Radiohead? You like Radiohead? And you're going to be like, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> you're going to know he's a federal agent. He's going to be dressed in like the way they always dress. He's going to have that hat. Dan. What's up, Dan? Jackie, welcome back. An energy subsidiary in AZ. Interesting. Hmm. How's everybody doing on their uh, clean energy? Um, anybody hooked up with solar panels? Anybody hooked up with uh, mini propellers or anything? How's everybody doing with, uh, you get a stream in your backyard and you put a thing on it so the power, I'm trying not to hiccup. Candles, candles are good. Let's make a commercial. Okay, I'm gonna ask artificial intelligence to design a radio commercial introducing a new generation. Good, that's why we use candles. If candles were like cigarettes, we wouldn't be using them. Used coffee shops, electricity. I used to work out of a storage unit. Uh, I had my recording studio in a storage unit. I had two. Um, one for seven years, one for a little over two years. And uh, there was no, like, electricity bill or anything. They didn't have running water. So if you had to, you know, use the toilet or if you needed water, you had to take a drive. Um, but the electricity was free. And they didn't have electricity in the units. So I would have a... Uh, my first part of the routine is after opening the door... All my stuff is there, and then I grab this cord, and I run it down the hallway, and now we got free electricity for the rest of the whole thing. And we weren't supposed to touch the thermostat, but the plastic casing that was supposed to protect the thermostat, it wasn't like affixed, it was just hanging there. So, you know, you want to crank up the AC, you want to crank up the heat, psh, that's on there. Seven years went by, they never figured out that that one building uh, used way more energy than the other buildings. All right. 
eventually uh, the business was sold to um, another company and the upper management just took away the 24-7 access. So like the new manager of the store, they were like, well, the insurance says that uh, the burglaries are less often to happen at night when the, th no, burglaries are more often to happen at night. And then I tried to negotiate. I was just like, You know, theft and robbery is more likely to happen when no one's there. So, if you let people hang out all the time, those stats should even out. And he didn't want to hear it. He was just like, no, it's, it's handed down from above, man. That was good. The first year, it cost one eighty nine a month. And by the time I got out of there, it was almost 300 after tax but still like less than 300 a month i was paying for this place where i had infinity electricity no internet no water but that allowed me to uh record music for um a price in between having your friend do it or going to a fully equipped studio so I was priced, like, in between those two things, and that's how I stayed in business for, like, 20 years. In my area, I was just, like, the clearest choice for so many people. The best of the cheapest and the cheapest of the best. But sacrifices had to be made in order to keep costs low. No bathroom, you know? Like, if you went to a recording studio and you had to, an emergency, but and you were told that you had to drive 10 minutes, well, that didn't always happen, though, because in emergencies, we had a contingency plan. I had this chair, right? Ninja Kitty, thank you for the fire. I had this chair. Men and women of all ages have used this chair. I had this chair, and this is just for emergencies, where, like, if you flip the chair over... There's a way that you could, like, sit on it in a way where nothing's going to touch nothing and you're not going to make a mess. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry if that's gross, but if you're in a hurry and it's an emergency and you're in a place that doesn't have a fucking bathroom. Okay. Um, so, uh, once or twice <laughs> I was, um, asked, uh, by police if I lived there and I was like, you can't live here. There's no running water. Do you see any clothes? There's no clothes. And they're like, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, not lighting this thing yet. You get to decide whether a random internet person lives or dies. For the low price of six times five, 30 cents, you could keep random internet person alive for another 10 minutes. So the choice is yours. When you sit on your white picket fences and you enjoy the fruits of your free jellies. Let the people eat their cake. Let them have their cake, and we can have it too. Okay, automatic flow. Thank you for the likes. Good to see you again. Hopefully uh, Tuesday's working out in your favor. Becky loves cake. May the winds of time always blow in your direction. Yes, you can eat their cake. Yes, Sir Podrick. Okay, everybody, it's 619. We, um... What? Detroit J! Hmm. And that's how it's done, everybody. Thank you, Detroit J, for crushing that goal, signing the paperwork, closing the deal, making the commitment, Sending off the papers to, uh, Funny Town. Olivia, hello. Automatic Flow is sad that, uh, in the depths of the sewers, there are cockroaches. Olivia's doing some cleaning. That's good to hear. With every step, may you move things or sanitize things and bring your whole situation 
a little closer to manageable. You will soon have an anxiety-free experience. You're going to feel clean. You're going to feel organized. Olivia, you're doing a great job. Feel free to take a break and hang out with us whenever you want. All right. Good. Thank you for the fire. All right. Uh, we are going to get into some more artificial intelligence stories later. Um, as you know, I'm AI equipped as of a few days ago. And now I added the icon to the home screen. Um, do you have, like, uh, any websites that you wish there was an app for and you have to, like, go into Chrome or whatever and type it in every time? Or maybe you have, like... 65 bookmarks that are open and you have to like scroll through and find the right one in the upper right corner uh, at the very very top of the Chrome settings all you got to do is just hit add to home screen and then it'll put an icon on your shit that'll make it look like it's an app and then you click on that and you go straight there that's all you got to do so then you can pretend that you have an app you're just going to a website, but it's still one click, and you're there. That's all you got to do. Add to home screen. All right, so, current house is a cluster fluster. All right. So, um, I'll prompt the thing. I'll say, it's, I've been doing it just mostly for stories. I haven't been using it for any useful information besides history of songs and stuff. Sometimes if we have a song on, I'll ask it to uh, write a music review in the style of Ernest Hemingway about Return to Innocence by Enigma. You don't go into the basement. Automatic Flow doesn't go into the basement. Doesn't want to talk about cockroaches. Wants to see real life and death stuff of that kind. All right, so let's let's do a little example, shall we? Oh, it looks like we've got a request down here. K two is saying uh, finding long lost relative. Okay. Um, okay. Write a short story about the 420 Cousins. Their names are Cornbread, comma, Forest Fairy, comma, and Blonde in the Hood. Talk about the history of the 420 lineage and legends of the three characters' efforts for legalization. Automatic Flow is looking for distant relative. He goes in manhole. There are cockroaches. The 420 cousins save him. They get ice cream. The end. Okay, let's see how that goes. David, David, you just become the 262nd member of the team. I'm getting artificial intelligence to write a story for us. I just gave it a prompt, and we're going to see how it goes. David, welcome aboard. You're going to receive your membership packet and orientation within five to six business minutes. The 420 Cousins were a legendary trio of activists who fought for the legalization of cannabis. Cornbread, Forest Fairy, and Blonde in the Hood were each descendants of a long line of cannabis advocates, and they used their platform and influence to raise awareness of the issue and challenge the status quo. Katasha, thank you for the TikTok. Cornbread 420 was a charismatic and passionate speaker who often used her platform to educate the public about the benefits of cannabis. She was also a skilled organizer and helped to mobilize thousands of people to support the legalization movement. 
David, thank you for the TikTok, another social media giant in the bank. Forest Fairy 420 was a renowned artist and musician who used her creativity to express support for cannabis legalization. She created powerful and moving works of art that challenged people to think about the issue in new ways. Automatic Flow, thank you for the flower. Blonde in the Hood 420 was a savvy businesswoman who used her connections and resources to support the legalization movement. She also founded a successful cannabis company that helped to legitimize the industry and create jobs. Together, the 420 cousins were a force to be reckoned with. They fought tirelessly for cannabis legalization, and they played a major role in the movement's success. One day, Automatic Flow, a distant relative of the 420 cousins, was looking for them. He had heard stories of their legendary efforts, and he wanted to learn more. Automatic Flow followed a trail of clues that led him to a manhole cover. He hesitated for a moment, but then he took a deep breath and opened it. He found himself in a dark and dank sewer system. The air was thick, and there were cockroaches. Automatic Flow followed the cockroaches until he came to a large chamber. In the center of the chamber were the 420 cousins. They were sitting around a campfire, blazing a tree and laughing. Automatic Flow approached them and introduced himself. He told them that he was a distant relative and that he had come to learn more about their efforts for legalization. The 420 cousins were happy to see him. They welcomed him to their campfire and told him stories of their adventures. Automatic Flow listened intently, inspired by their courage and dedication. After a while, Automatic Flow thanked the 420 cousins for their stories. He told them that he would carry on their legacy and continue the fight for legalization. The 420 cousins smiled. They were confident that Automatic Flow was the right person to carry on their work. Automatic Flow left the sewer system and returned to the surface world. He was determined to make the 420 Cousins proud. He went on to becoming a leading advocate for legalization. He spoke at rallies, wrote articles, made TikTok videos, and even lobbied politicians. Thanks to the efforts of Automatic Flow and the 420 Cousins, cannabis is now legal in many parts of the world. But the fight is not over, and their legacy will continue to inspire the people to fight. Alright everybody, so that's a taste of what's to come tonight. Um, I'm going to be reading uh, stories that we're getting artificial intelligence to write for us. Uh, I come up with the prompt, so like... I basically write the story, but that thing comes up with all the words. And, you know, I don't have complete control over the story. Like, I wasn't expecting him to find them in the sewer. What I actually wanted was for him to be, like, swarmed by cockroaches and they were going to save his ass. But, like, it didn't play out like that. Um, so, you know, it's not a perfect machine, but uh, if I work on my prompts... Groski, welcome back. Hello. We're enjoying a really good Tuesday. We're getting this thing started off right. We're on TikTok right now, and we're hanging out. I'm a random internet person. It's whatever. Yeah, I gotta work on the prompts. Yeah, it's like AI Mad Libs. Give me another chance, babe. I just gotta work on my prompts. He's a good guy, he's just gotta work on his prompts. We got something here. Short stories involving random internet people to think I was trying to save the world. <laughs> I, I could have been telling stories this whole time.
Let's find out, Automatic Flow. Now you know. And knowing is half the schmattle. Would you try to correct me if I asked you if I could ask you a question, or would you understand what I meant and answer me? I would understand what you meant and answer you. I would not try to correct you because I would understand that you are simply asking permission for me to ask you a question. Great. Okay then. Yeah, usually uh, I'm asleep during these writer meetings. Uh, I appear before people's talk show in a dream. And uh, him and the other uh, entities are ready to do business. And I'm just trying to... I work on my ice cream, I do a restroom visit, I go smoke a cigarette, and then, like, I come back, and then, like, uh, I'm like, what? But today, we actually did something. We did something. Yeah. All right, we will go back inside. In other news, we now have the key on the key ring. Very big jump in efficiency over here. Streamlining our process. Less things to lose. Oh, it is cold. It's cold where I'm at right now. Um, we're, we're like at the uh, northern tip of an island at the southern tip of Jersey. There's the oceans right here. And the ocean wind. We have uh, strong winds here. It's cold. I could still walk around in this cold, but it's too windy. It wouldn't sound very good. Yeah, they always have a process. Yeah, I'm a process-oriented person. I'm not focused on the goal. Of course, I have dreams and desires. And yeah, I do have goals. But I don't focus... I don't hyper-fixate on something that isn't real yet. Besides... If we don't enjoy what we already got, the fuck are we going to do when we achieve more levels of that, you know? Like, if you're trying to get married, but you're not enjoying the person that you're with, what's your plan for after you're married? Like, how are you supposed to enjoy that? Anyway, um... Uh, one of my esteemed colleagues and associates found a uh, actual job. It was actually a job listing. They do twenty dollars a day, and um, it seems like they want you to use your own TikTok account or even social media. I don't know if they mentioned TikTok specifically, but at best, at best. Is $20 on top of what you're already doing. And you won't have to change anything besides include in your branding that you're supported by some agency. So then what would happen if we turn that around? What would happen if I offered someone else $20 a day and the only thing they had to do was just tell everybody that they are supported by my fictitious ad agency. I don't know. I've been added and DM'd and even approached in here from uh, people who claim to run agencies. And what I do is I try to find any successes. I look for any evidence at all that anybody at all has worked with them and went from zero to hero. I have not found that yet. So 
so I, I usually ignore them. Sometimes I politely decline so that they're not waiting around. And um, this one guy who came in here, though, I ended up, like, losing my temper on him. Um, this was months ago. He had a YouTube show he was trying to get me onto. But I didn't know it was on YouTube until I, after I told him his TikTok was garbage. And then I still went out of my way to check out his YouTube. Because I thought, like, oh, well, this guy just doesn't use TikTok. He claims to have, like, a million active uh, listeners on YouTube. And I went there, and his YouTube was garbage. So I told him that. And then he told me I went to the wrong channel. And then he sends me another And then I'm just like, guy, you got to know this. If people search for you, they find the bad channel. So even though you think you have another channel, I don't know. Um, the, I don't need to talk about that. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, but I would consider, I would at least consider partnerships with like an agency if I didn't have to change anything. If all we were going to do was just me say I'm supported by this agency and they're just supplementing my income a little bit, at best, that's the deal. But chances are they would probably need shout outs. They would probably need like, they would probably on occasion be like, oh, it's good, but... You can't block people anymore, or <laughs> I don't know. Random ordinary person, thank you for hooking us up. Thank you for confirming your membership in the wildest, craziest, funniest, hottest, silliest, craziest chat room I've ever seen. Okay, let's not talk about work while we're working. Um, People's Talk Show really wants to talk about inside baseball. But I want to talk about how great your hair is. Ladies and gentlemen. The White House announced earlier today that your hair looks fantastic and you're winning. Your shoes are the best shoes I've ever seen. Your numbers look fantastic and you got what it takes to make it all the way downtown. Please support our sponsors, Cornbread and Ninja Kitty. You look marvelous. All right, I think I missed some comments. So I'm going to scroll up a little bit. Okay, People's Talk Show. We'll talk about Inside Baseball some other time. Um, I'll see you soon, Sandshifter. Thanks for coming. Ninja Kitty, hello. You're still hanging out. Purple plaid vans today. Good. Yes, the, everyone in the office has noticed... And there's some chatter by the coffee pot that um, you have the best shoes in the office today. Yeah, there's some chatter. That's what the experts are saying. Industry insiders are talking about your shoes. Oh. Oh, you're back. Hold on. I was just about to turn it off. See, uh, where I come from, after your top donor leaves, uh, you're looking at something called diminishing returns. I, I majored in econ. It's, uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, best kicks in the click. Oh, yeah. Cornbread, thanks for the likes. Oh. Should I clean that up? I should clean that up. It's just a drop, but that drop will become a stain on our community. This table looks horrible, but I'll do something about that at some point. 
All right, let's uh, get a new gummy in here. Good game, cornbread. When you going home? Probably 340 over there. Okay. Katasha, when do you start your bartending thing? Ninja Katie, is that construction on your street done yet? A ghost is a ghost. How's your tooth? You, it's been days since your operation. Are you recovered yet? Random ordinary person. Hello, Ninja Kitty. You made the bear goal. Thank you. Two to three days starting the bartending thing. Okay, that's good. That's good. I've never done bartending, but I've hung out with people who have. It sounds like it's like really, really hard, but once in a while, it's incredibly fun. I guess it depends on how good your coworkers are, I suppose. Not waking up in pain anymore. That's good. Construction on Ninja Kitty Street still, uh getting in the way, but not every day. Okay, so you just can't anticipate whether or not you're going to be able to sleep. That's great. Yeah, well, usually I would research the company and have to, like, convince myself that they're still going to be around later. But in the case of a bar, if I was going to work for a bar, the environment and the vibe is number one. I would definitely try to hang out there on, like, the slowest night and the busiest night and just read the room and watch who's working there and try to gauge, like, if... uh if that's definitely the best use of my energy. When comparing, if there was like more than one bar I could choose from, I mean. If there's only one to choose from, you got to go for it. If that's what you want to do. Robin, good evening. I'm going to be telling some uh, artificial intelligence stories later. I just made this ice cream and coffee. We should definitely drink more of this. I'm going to need more coffee. We got new strings on the guitar. New strings is good. New strings is very good. They're not going to be new for long though. up
Thank you, Random Ordinary Person, for the high bear. Let's enjoy another one of these gummy bears. Thank you, Ninja Kitty. Still eating the high bear. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, you're watching a random internet person on TikTok right now. Um, we're gonna find the balance. We're gonna find the balance between stuff. What can I help you with? What can I do for you? What does everybody need? Jackie, hello. Thank you for the hand heart. We're on TikTok right now. I'm a random internet person. It's whatever. We are sharing unstructured time in a low pressure, adaptive, collaborative, inspirational, improvisational framework together. Some call it hanging out. Bessie, thank you for the flower. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Bessie, for the flower. Thank you for enjoying the music.
Betsy, thank you for the ice cream. All right, cornbread. Have a safe drive. Um, good luck. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks for hanging out. Come back whenever you want. Betsy, thank you for the flower. K2, thank you for the likes. All right. Um, I guess I'll get into some stories. Let's turn these fans off. just found out today at the doctor's office there's more to that Yeah, you found out today at the doctor's office, what? All right, this program will now end. I want to thank everybody for coming this afternoon. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna relax for a little bit, maybe make, make some regular TikTok videos. Y'all been great. Um, that was a lot of fun. So thanks everybody, and maybe I'll see you uh, later in the night.